Kanbanwa Planeswalkers. You're listening to Radio Kyoto, coming to you from our studios residing on the pious side of the multiverse this evening. And this week, we're in Guilds of Ravnica. Yes, we got our ranked uh, draft. Um, again, the rest of the month has been, uh, in arena has been been uh, shifted over towards Guilds of Ravnica, so we're going to try to get a little bit of ranking here. Um, we have our Demir deck ready to go. This will be our first matches with it. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you can check out the, the draft previous episode here. It was a very interesting one. Demir, extremely hard to get into in Guilds of Ravnica. It looks like they fixed all the bots there. Um, but we were past some good cards and trying to make do. Uh, so let's get in and play. Get our first matches underway against our Planeswalker, what Planeswalker Pierce. I would venture to guess, just kind of as, as this deck goes, it's probably like a two, three win deck. I, I'd, be, I'd be happy to think of 500 with this guy. Um, we don't have the greatest win conditions. It's probably Murmuring Mystic or something. We flash off of them with a Thief of Sanity. Um, I'm just really trying to control it with Disdainful Stroke here. Or sorry, different Disinformation Campaign. Excuse me, I'm just looking over here. So they go first. Hopefully they are not the uh, Agriboros. I think that's all we're we're looking for. So we will keep. Could use a black source here. All right, keep going with the blue. I have a feeling, uh, you know, we got some crazy pulls last time we were. We're playing. All right, we got a Selesnya deck in front of us here. We had some crazy pulls. I have a feeling we're against some of the, you know, the mana scroogies, uh against us a little bit here. So we'll see how this goes. Pilfering Imp. Let's see. Oh, all right. They must have just picked up their Healer's Hawk here. Ah, no. Okay, they're looking to get the Iron Shell Beetle on top of it there. All right, so us here. Well, let's see. We get the train starting starting to go. We don't really have our surveil cards in, in hand here. I think. Do we want to get into their hand now? Let's get the, uh, the I mean, the Cyclops isn't necessarily going to help us out ton. I think we play Thief of Sanity here. And uh, we're not going to block with it, but I think they got to keep Healer's Hawk back. With Thief of Sanity out here. They just can't have us ripping cards off their, off their deck and us getting a chance to play with them. See, white and green, not a ton of removal. Okay, another beetle. They really want to get through with healer's hawk, it looks like here. I kind of think that's a trade I'm willing to make here. You know, give you three life, let you gain three. I'm going to start ripping cards off your your library and using them. Oh, okay. Tap, tapping out. All right. Um, let's see. Do we want to disinformation campaign? Start getting that train rolling. Leave open disdainful stroke. Let's, uh... And they tapped out to let us go through. Maybe we just attack. I don't think we want to give let them have the uh, grappling. Sun do. So let's take that for ourselves. And play it. Leave over open a uh, disdainful stroke. Just to see what they got here. So allow us to 
You know, if they don't got something worth counter. Ah, the shield mate. Okay. No worries there. They're low to the ground. Undo. Will the pilfering ink go? Ah, no, okay. Only sorcery speed, that's why. Okay. I think we get the uh, disinformation campaign rolling here. They look to be a little bit mana screwed. Yeah, camaraderie, okay. So let's see here. Let's keep Terran. I don't want to give him the Parhelion Patrol or the, the Recluse. Let's see, they could play the, uh, uh, well, what do we want? I don't think we're, we're giving them anything. He's kind of going to exile, right? Uh, exile one of them face down, then put the rest into their graveyard. All right, we will take the, uh, the patrol. Why not? Let's leave open Disdainful Stroke for now. Could use another black mana here. I'd like to Notion Rain and Pilfering Imp. The same turn here. Liking the idea of Notion Rain here. In front of Disinformation Campaign. Okay. They got an island. Or sorry, a plains. Staring at all my islands. Something for Disdainful Stroke? Yep. That is, uh, I think, as good as we can hope for. Yeah, this Thief of Sanity is insane. Ah, oh, Madalin. Sorry, I forgot to look at the, the name at the beginning. Madalin. Madalin. Oh. I can borrow the rest of this matchup. Come on, Black Mana. We are then notion raining, disinformation campaign, all in the same turn. If not, maybe we're just pilfering him. Getting rid of that last card in hand. Yeah, they don't want to attack. They, I think, don't want the Thief of Sanity coming in here. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Park Helium Patrol and a two drop isn't like the greatest. Do we just pilfering him? Just get rid of this last card in hand. Let's attack first. They're tapped out. Yeah, we're going to just take the gas. Creature card or enchantment from them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't want that siege room in there. Good call. And we'll get the patrol in. Uh, 
All right, another healer's hawk. Ham guy. <laughs> they gotta start attacking. That's pretty much what we're staring at here. All right, we will stop the most damage we can there, and we will not let them block here. Or not let them uh, live there. So keep it. There's our black. And uh, I think at this point. Yeah, we got we can we can put out uh, a bunch of Yeah, say so if you really want to attack. Creature card enchantment. I think I'm just looking at creature cards at this point. Or maybe we get our sphere. Hired poisoner. Okay. And we'll just attack with our uh, Thief of Sanity. Continue ripping stuff off the top of their deck. Ah, okay, they want to give up their 1-1 one -one for it. It's fine. Alright, let's see, no Trixies, okay. So I should know I have the higher poisoner in hand, right? This reveals it. Yeah, reveal a creature card. So we can notion rain disinformation campaign if they're thinking of keeping this card in hand. Alright, Mystic. Let's see, I think we attack with the thief first. And we can also get in with the patrol. I just realized this guy had Vigilance. Conclave. We don't want to give them that gas. I mean, it doesn't help out us all that much. I think we get in the... Uh, Is it worth getting in Murmur and Mystic? Or are we just kind of notion raining and disinformation campaign? Right back, uh, get that one card out of their hand. I think they could be just holding on to a land here. We're going Murmuring Mystic. And just kind of continue to unload our... It's okay. You can keep getting in the life. It's okay. All right. Unexplained disappearance is a goodie. Allows us to surveil this information campaign. So I mean, we'll just. Take it. I mean, maybe we're not decking ourselves necessarily here. Yep, they get rid of the land they had. Just bring some heat. The 
Loxodon, just more companions. Tell you what, we'll use the, the life gain here at some point. And let's throw it down just the the wall. Eh, worth tapping out. <laughs> Probably not. It's like that's okay. We we'll get the mana. Twenty one in our deck, nine in theirs. They just give it up. All right, Madalin. Good game. Pressing forward here. All right. One no, not bad. That wasn't the greatest of decks, um, but we were able to really get in with everything we were trying to do. That thief is insane. Obviously. So, just everything we're looking to do. Gotta love having that in the opening hand. Alright. All ice. Ollie. Ollie ice. Ollie ice. Alright. We'll go with that. Thief of Sanity again in hand. We will not mulligan that away. Um, so, Gambaru, Ollie ice. Let's see it. We're on the play. Oh, we're on the draw. Excuse me. They're just snap keep. We're gonna need some uh, more mana here, though. Let's see. Okay. Maybe a little bit of Naya action here. Grappling Sundew on their own side. Okay, that's gonna put a stop on our thief itself. No, just gruel. Interesting. Okay, the a copy. And a little vigilance life. I think we just start out with our centipede. Thief of Sanity isn't doing anything against this uh, wall yet. We're going to need our sphere. We get one more mana for our mystery, our murmuring mystic. Eh, we'll let that one come through. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I'd rather get the plus one, plus one counter on like the dark blade agent. Another copy. Interesting. And a torch carrier. Oh my gosh. Okay. Straight up gruel garbage. Um. I think we, man. I'm worried they're just going to unload their hand here. I think we Dark Blade in here. Stabilize the board. We can't let them keep coming in with all these three twos. At least trade off for one. And then we got to start attacking their hand. They don't just drain it all here. Really like to see one more mana though. Get that mystic out. Mystic life. Let's see. Grappling. Okay. He's gonna be a harder guy to deal with. Where's our hex proof? Last card in hand. Can't have another one of those big boys coming. All right, just stop very quick. Not the greatest trade off there.
not, not attacking. So we really want to be able to surveil here, get that Dark Blade agent going. Just as a death touch. Let's see, I think they gotta start attacking. They're not gonna win the long game. Yeah, exactly. All right, we'll throw this guy in front. Trade off in a copy. Okay, little trick. Yeah, I would love to be able to thief and start controlling them. We're going to take a hit on seven here if we do that. Yeah. Just ugly. Now we can't even do the, you know, we need this agent back on defense here. So just going to bum rush here by not having our banana. So yeah, this, this goes back to what I was mentioning before, just kind of not getting the luckiest variance draws here. Man, we, yeah, we really need to get the, uh, you know, hand disruption down a little bit earlier against these convo guys. Let's see, just send the, uh, Okay, okay. No blocks. Come on, Blue. Come on, Blue. Ugh, okay. Kind of works, but not if you tap like that. So we can double block Cyclops and Mystic. They can only destroy one. They can only kill one. I think they gotta go for the Mystic. Oof, never mind. Now we're just fodder here. That is probably game. Oh, they're not attacking. I mean, devious cover up, maybe Demir lock it on the end step. We're not attacking ourselves. Maybe they think we got some type of surveil in hand. That's probably just worth a uh, cover up here. Might as well take them all back.
I think that is okay. No cards in hand, and we just chump. I got no trample. No trample. Not the greatest, <laughs> I will admit. Yeah. Just pass it here. I think we look to sacrifice our locket. See what we draw. Hopefully it's something with uh, surveil. All right. I want that book devour in hot. So we're going to tap. Draw. Missed. <laughs> Got a block there. Got a block there. I think we just block here. So the shade's coming in as a uh, fodder here. Might as well throw out the thief. No, we're not getting around that wall. Obviously no attacks. We're gonna need to pick up a surveil card here. 24 cards in deck. And yeah, maybe it wasn't best to shuffle those those earlier ones in. They aren't getting us to the surveil here. Oh, they are not attacking. Oh, maximize altitude. I don't know if that really helps us out here. I don't think it does. Thief of Sanity is not making its way around uh, the Defender Reach here. I mean, it gives us a... Yeah, at least... Yeah, I was, I was thinking you attack with the, the Bale Shade, you can, you know, pump a ton of mana in it, give it to the Sundew with flying, you know, you give it flying and so forth, but, I mean, what are we throwing in front of us, probably? You know, we'll maximize altitude just the one. Just to get our, uh, flying token. But we are not uh, attacking here. So we can pump up four, six. Okay, that's not nothing. Six, six veil. Shade, veiled shade, with an illusion bird in front of it. We can we can take out the uh, elemental. Have we stabilized? Capture sphere can't do anything to the uh, elemental there.
can get rid of the, the sundew, though. Oof. Start getting around. And this thief of sanity is decking them a little bit. Shields down a little bit. We just got one illusion, empty hand. Nightfield Shade isn't at his full pump. Goes up to 5-5, five, five. so that's enough to hold off the Book Devourer. Oh yes, we want to cast status statue. We can give anything death touch now. This is good. That was the card to off them. They were probably looking for that as their their removal tricks. Now if we can just get some of the hand disruption. Sprouting Renewal. There. We can get another hit in here. With the uh, Thief of Sanity. Let's get in a hit with uh, our Veiled Shade. We gotta leave one black open. Did not want to pump because we got to leave a uh, status open plus one plus one death touch. Choose our attackers. We'll kind of pressure the life total here a little bit, but we're honestly probably getting there with the decking. Like, these, either of these really matter. Probably not. So the Arboretum can't block. So if we start pressuring in, we can maybe get in front of that Book Devourer with a pumped up Bailed Shade. Or we can, and the status is what's holding back the, uh... okay. The informant. I think we need a little surveil too in our lives here, huh? So Thief of Sanity, we can status statue the grappling sundew. And it gets 
it's still going to be indestructible, so we got to watch out for that. Can't necessarily do that there. So they're at 14, we're at 20. Let's demir inform it and uh, set up our draws here a little bit. Alright, Poisoner. Yes. Swamp. I mean, we're looking for some heat here. I think that's okay. They know they can't tap out because that they, they need that sun dew. They get a decent sized Golgari Raiders. We don't have haste, but our shade is still bigger. We want the hired poisoner in play. Kind of call that quitsies here. No attacks. We may be able to start getting in Thief of Sanity plus our, our illusions. Really like seeing some of our hand disruption back. Let's see, they tapped out a little bit too much here. Unless they're playing a land. But they won't be able to give their sun due. Invincibility if I tack in with my Thief of Sanity here. So Disdainful Stroke, solid. Good to kind of keep on the back. Keep one of those birds back. I think they realized their mistake. Alright, destroy a target creature with flying. That's okay, I can't respond to that. Our air assault can begin. We help having out the three, two, probably.
Unexplained Disappearance. It's a good one to kind of hold on to. Dark Blade Agent, give it. It'll surveil. It'll get Death Touch. So I think we just hold on to that. And we just start pressuring the air. It's gonna be a long one, guys. Sorry. <laughs> this is how the mirror plays. All right. Whenever a creature you control enters the battlefield or die with greater power, plus one, plus one counter on it. Go ham. That's a good unexplained disappearance if that gets a little too wild. All right, I don't think we got any more. Uh, might as well throw this out. We don't. We don't got any more uh, jump start. So just keep it going. So we just do we unexplained disappearance on their turn, offering lethal. Let's put a stop in here. I don't think we'll need it, but. Gravitic Punch. Disdain. There's our additional bird. They could do it again, though. And I think they got us. Yeah, well, I can't target it with uh, unexplained disappearance. See any other outs here? That is a good game. Good game. They did it on the last turn they possibly could. Oh, wow, that was a good matchup. Guilds. All right, all right. One and one. Kind of something to expect with, with this deck, but that that's a good one. We really grind away at them. All right, so one and one. Long one tonight here. Um, we, will, we will catch you in our next episode, but until then, say Wahoo Suru, Planeswalkers.